An article on psychologytoday.com says the habit of secret keeping develops in early childhood when children learn to differentiate secrets according to their benefits and consequences. Keeping certain secrets from parents can be unintentional while others can be more damaging. So ladies, is there something in your past that your parents don't know that you want to share with us today? Hmm. See, there's the difference when it depends on how you grow up, because I grew up in the projects during the crack era. And during the crack era, what they were doing at the time, because the laws were a certain way, was that if you were under 18, if you got uh, caught selling drugs, you would just go to juvenile hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't actually go to jail jail. Yeah. So the drug dealers started trying to get the 13 and 12 year olds to sell. Yeah. And you remember back yeah. in that- They'll just in go the to juvie. They would just go, and so they had, they were recruiting people. And so you know, they tried to come at me mm. to recruit me one day. Mm, sure. And they, I mean, they just kept, they kept on, kept on. And I never told my mother because I didn't want my mother to get involved in mm. that. And so what oh, I did was. to protect her. Right. And so what I did one day, I went, I said, who is the head dude? Cause you know, I was watching like movies back then. Like it's gotta be a boss dude, right? Yeah. And I went to him and I had my French horn one day. She was looking I was for the French mafioso. Mm -hmm, and I had my glasses and I, <laughs> and I had two pigtails like yours, right? <laughs> but at the time I had real long hair and I had my French horn. I went to the boss man. I said, French look, horn. I don't want to sell drugs. True story. Wow. I said, I don't want to sell drugs. I want to play my French horn. So can you please just let me play my French horn and he put the word out all across leave that one alone leave, leave oh, four eyes alone wow. How and about I was that? like, I don't care if y'all talk about me. You got the respect from him. I got Dang. the respect. You spoke up for yourself him. and you, you know asked I mean? kindly, yeah. And that was the, but everybody else, you know, I mean, because some people, you know, some kids, they yeah. did it to help their families out. Some yeah. people yeah. did it because they need it as a means of necessity. I was just broke walking to school with that heavy ass French, French horn. horn. And I never told my mother this, never. Yeah. So yeah. there's some so She'll find out about this right now while exactly. watching TV. Right. That I told him, yeah. I don't know why she never wondered why I never sold. I think she probably want to be the seller. So she has <laughs> <laughs> like, Let me tell you, you no, my mom knows one. everything about my one. life from watching this show. <laughs> right. Literally, exactly. there's eight seasons, there's nothing left for me to tell that my mama don't know. Yeah. But I will say this, even though I didn't tell her in the moment, as me and my mom have gotten older and become friends, at this point now, she knows everything, so there isn't anything that I would tell her today. But I was that teenager that like, I went to Brooklyn with a few of my friends in high school, and they had older sisters, and their sisters took out of their wipey box, they had kids, and had a wipey box that had weed in it, and had to smoke weed and watch Cheech and Chong. And when I tell you, I was like, mm, I don't feel good, I'm calling my mom. Oh. I called my mom and was like, they had me smoke weed, and I need you to come get you me. Are, I was that you teenager. You ratted. Oh. I didn't rat, I just didn't want to die. Right. So I was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna die. My mom didn't have an issue with them, and literally was like, let me just come get my kid. And yeah, that was that time. What else? One time I tried to smoke cigarettes, came home, my mom saw me. Uh, she saw that the bathroom, I had one of those bathrooms, you had to step into the tub. Yeah. And open yeah. the window. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I tried to smoke. There were these cigarettes <laughs> called Eves at the time. And they were long and sexy. And I bought Lucy's at the bodega. And I was like, <laughs> I just thought it looked pretty. And when I finished, she was like, you were smoking cigarettes? So she could smell it in the bathroom. Right, right, yeah. right. And I was like, I'm trying, but it, it makes me nauseous. I couldn't what? even, I th and the only thing I got along with long enough was when I got my nipples pierced. <laughs> and now this was in my early 20s. It's and she found whole life story. She know, you I'm need like, to write a memoir. She found out like a month later. You need a memoir. I take it. She found out a month later.